Hi. I have been asked by one of my subscribers to do a direct comparison looking at flutes from two different flute makers, John Norris Music, in particular the new voicing that he has used with the Johnny Lipford signature flute, and J.P. Gomez of Heart Song Flutes. I don't have the same keys, the closest woods that I have with these two uh, flute makers is Eastern Red Aromatic Cedar and Spanish Cedar. There is going to be a little bit of a tonal difference in these two woods. To me, the Spanish Cedar emphasizes a little more of the higher harmonics. The aromatic cedar tends to mellow those a little bit. So in, in my ears, most flutes, everything else being the same, the aromatic cedar flutes sound a little mellower than a Spanish cedar flute, again, to my ears. But also, it has to do with the sound making mechanism and how everything is designed by different flute makers. And there are differences here. So first we're going to start with the Johnny Lipford signature flute. This is in the key of F minor. song flute by J.P. Gomez. This is in the key of E, so this is a half a step lower, so keep that in mind. deal here. Simple scale. And the J.P. Gomez Heart Song Flutes. Now moving to the John Norris Johnny Lipford Signature Flute. gives an idea. To me, playing style-wise, they react very, very much the same to me. The heart song flutes versus the new voicing and the way that um, John Norris and Johnny Lipford has, has created the, um, the way that this flute reacts to the player. Very, very similar to me and my playing style. The differences um, again, the material is different, the wood material. To me, the aromatic cedar is a little smoother sound. The Spanish cedar, a little bit more in the higher harmonics are heard to my ear. Um, it seems to be slightly brighter in tone to me, regardless of who makes it. The other differences, um, the John Norris flute, the nest area uh, on both flutes is, is sunk, but the flue is in the flute body on the Johnny Lipford signature flute from John Norris. The flue is on the underside of the block, 
and the Heart Song Flute by J.P. Gomez. When the flue is put into the bottom of the fetish block, it does require the player to make sure that that is lined up a little more precisely than if the flue is in the flute body itself. That's the biggest difference to me. The, the sound of the flute is not as readily changed just by where you put the flu. It's how everything else works together with that. So where the flu is, to me that doesn't make a bit of difference, other than to, I have to be a little bit more concerned about where that block is positioned, the angle, because that is what is directing the air. Here, the angle isn't going to change if, if the block is slightly crooked. That's not going to make that much of a difference. The face will be slightly changed, and it can, and it can affect it a little bit, but not as much. And, and again, these are, are similar in design. They have end caps uh, and a kind of a decorative ring done. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Um, so they both have separate end caps and a decorative ring. This one is going to be a little harder to see. I'll include some, some pictures also separately. Um, this doesn't have an end cap on the bottom. This one is mirrored, a mirror image of the mouthpiece end on the foot end. Uh, other than that, both extremely well made, extremely well tuned. Both play beautifully. Down in the comments, let me know which one did you like the sound of better, not, not the key or anything like that, but could you tell much of a difference in, in the way my camera is picking up the sound here between the two, and which did you prefer? Maybe John Norris flute? Uh, Johnny Lipford signature model or the um, heart song flutes. This is their special edition concert flute. This is kind of in the upper end of his standard line um, before you get into a completely custom flute. Don't forget to subscribe to see other flute reviews or flute comparisons as they come out. Thanks for watching.